good Saturday morning to you guys. It is Saturday, January the 16th. Um, we are head, I am heading to the stables um, to put my horse back out to pasture. We had him stored in the uh, in the stable last night because of the cold weather. Um, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go over there and take his blanket off and, and put him back out. And then tonight we'll go back and put the blanket back on him because uh, it's supposed to get down again pretty chilly so i'm gonna take you guys along with me just to see um old patches and see how he's doing and uh we'll go from there i'm having troubles with that trigger finger thing it's locked up i can't get it to even go further than that so uh, monday i get to go see a doctor about that um <clears throat> and then we'll go from there. I got a guy looking at me on this side thinking I'm crazy. I guess I'm talking to myself. But, uh, so yeah, we're starting the channel up. The other night, I was uh, Thursday night. We were on Broussards. Uh, we were chatting up with Broussards on their live feed. And, uh, man, it was great to see everybody again. Um, and touch base with a lot of people. Uh, again, the Broussards had a great great live feed um, and I thought about doing a live feed today but the problem that I'm having with a live feed is I really don't want to start a live feed and only have a few people in there uh, five or six people uh, I had a hundred going into the Broussards live feed I had around a hundred and thirty people uh, after the uh, about 137 people uh, that were still subscribed to me and after the Bruce Arts live feed uh, I gained like 12 new followers and then the next morning I was down to 139 so I don't know what happened with that I was looking at some videos and looking at some of the YouTube analytics and there's a lot of different excuses as to why you lose uh, people but it, you show a gain um, it does that didn't make any sense to me, but um, okay, whatever. Um, so I want to get set up to where I can do a live stream and talk to you guys live and see what you think about certain things. Um, the main part of this video is just basically uh, regrouping, um, setting our goals for 2021. Uh, what are your goals? Put them down in the in the, in the chat. Um, I'd love to know what your goals are. Our goals right now is basically we need to get our fence up so we can get our shop built. And then we can do our garden. We are going to do a minor garden this year. We're not going to go full scale. Um, only because, or as of right now, we're not going full scale. Only because we have a lot of stuff on our plate uh, with my work and everything else. Uh, we need to kind of gear up and make sure that we're ready for the next storm season. We want to, the things that we are going to plant are things that we are going to be able to either freeze um, and use later, dehydrate and use later, uh, or can, like we're looking at maybe doing some tomatoes just to can, just to, just to put away and make sauce and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's our main goals. How far we go, we don't know. Um, we'd like to take you guys along for the ride and see where we're at. Um, our, our, our actual house did not take that much. I mean, we took some damage, don't get me wrong, but it was, it was, it's all fixed. It was all fixed. I mean, it, we're good, uh, better than most um better than a lot and so we are now going to concentrate on the outside <clears throat> our yard our other animals our chickens uh, making sure that their little chicken house and everything else is set up properly we've got to put drainage in so there's a lot of stuff going on this year um and how we do it i'd love to take you guys along and show you and get your opinion on a lot of things. Um, I'm really interested. I, I'm, I take constructive criticism very well. You have to doing my job. Um, if you don't, then 
you know, you, you're going to get your feelings hurt a lot. Um, so right now, um, we're going to the stables at Lobo Kosh. Look them up on Facebook. I may put a link down there. Um, they got hit. They got tore up pretty bad. They've had to cancel a lot of their activities, horse riding activities, their um, classes and stuff like that. Mainly because uh, the storm messed up the stables pretty bad. So they're getting back on their feet and trying to do some stuff. I've got a new device that I, I bought and it's uh, at my house. Uh, it came in last night and I may do an unboxing on that. Um, it's called a FLIR 1. It's a thermal imager that connects to your phone. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. I'm going to test it out. I mainly got it because we have to redo our insulation in our roof. And I want to make sure that when we do do a, redo our insulation, it's it's doing what it's, the insulation is supposed to be doing. However, I've been watching some uh, guys like... Uh, 628 uh, Dirt Rooster, um, Yappy the Bee Man. I've been watching a lot of these guys, Mr. Ed, um, doing bees and stuff and doing cutouts. And we have a cutout I need to do because uh, they're, and the bees aren't going to me, they're going to go to a, another guy. Um, but he, and he's getting all his stuff ready to go. But it's in an elderly woman's home. Um, after the the bees have been there for years they've been coming and going uh they've tried everything to get rid of the bees they had somebody come in there and basically get the bees out they set up a box and the bees you know transferred over to the box everything was great but then they had that sour smell um so basically what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to open up the wall and that was another reason why i got that that fleer um, so we could kind of check out the the wall and see how far this thing goes before we actually start cutting into this lady's wall. She's got contractors coming in to help after we get the bees out or in the near future. We need to get the bees out before the contractors come in because they don't want to deal with the bees. Um, and they're going to kill them. And I know right now is like the worst time to do a cutout. I know that. Uh, you don't have to leave a comment about that. Um, but it's either we do it or they die anyway. Um, so we're hoping that he can take these bees, get them back to a bee yard and hope for the best. I'm, I'm, I'm leery about doing it, but again, it's either we do it or they're going to kill them anyway. Um, so at least we give them a 50, 50 chance. Um, I've got a bee back. I've got to do some... I've got a BVAC for my for my hives, but I'm going to build another BVAC for the gentleman um, so he can use on his own. Um, he's just starting out in bees, and, um, you know, we've got to help each other out. Uh, I'm going to build him a, a little simple BVAC to where um, I like Mr. Ed's BVAC. I'm going to make some adjustments to it to help fit our needs. Um, but I, I think that'll work out. I think we can get the bees out. Uh, vacuum them up and get them with their own uh, honey and their own brood and get them into a nice stable location and he's going to keep them as shielded as possible from the temperatures um, and start feeding them and then we can go from there and I hope he I hope this will be his first beehive he's been wanting to get into hives uh, he was lucky enough to get into some hives that a gentleman decided he didn't want to do bees no more. So the guy basically gave him a bunch of uh, stuff. So we're going to help him out and get him started on that. That's another thing that's going on. Um, the Lobo guys, they used to have hundreds of beehives here. Um, but after the storm, they lost all but eight. Um, so they are currently in the process of redoing and getting their heat, their hive stuff back. And I hope it works out for them. Um, but we're pulling up to Lobo Kaj. And let me see if I can switch this 
And so you guys can kind of see maybe. Uh, it's going to concentrate on my sticker. Ain't that something? All right. Anyway, we're here at Le Bocage. Um, I got to go check on patches. And then I will get right back with you guys soon. Well, patches has already been put out, so that helps out a lot. You can feel the wind. I don't know if you can see, it's nothing but open fields back here. Um, so, but I do have, my wife wanted him to have his carrot this morning. So I'm going to go out to his paddock and make sure he gets his, his morning carrot bring you guys along with us for that hey meathead hey boy he's eating him some grasses hey what you doing look what I got look what I got that's my buddy come on hey come on Look what I got. Hey. Come on. What's you doing, Huh? Huh? You like that? What's the matter with you? Huh? Why are you so skittish? Huh? That was a good carrot. That was a good carrot. Oh, crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. All right, buddy. And that is Patches, guys. Old Meathead himself. Okay. Alright, we'll see you this afternoon, buddy. I'm being chased. He's coming. He's hot on my tail. He thinks he's going to go back to the barn. But nope. Mm. All right, bud. All right, buddy. Hey, don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. Ah. All right, have a good one. All right. Well, there's Meathead. I'm going to leave him here till later on this afternoon and then we'll do what we have to do and get him back in the barn. So, that's where we're at with him. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. So, hey everybody, we're back at the house. Um, it's going to do it for this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave some comments. Tell me what you think about some of the ideas that we're, we're planning. Um, um, keep things positive. I know this world is going crazy right now, but keep things positive. Keep a good attitude. Don't let what's going on in this world right now bring you down. Um, pull something positive out where, however you can. Good luck with everything. And, um, I think I'm going to shoot that video for the FLIR. So I'll probably put out two videos today. Um, so I'll be looking for that. If uh, if it, it is Martin Luther King weekend, so um, I'll have off Monday. I may I may try to do a few other extra activities. I got to get some stuff built for the fire department, so I may I may even film that this weekend and and uh, show you guys what I'm building for those guys. All right, if you need anything. Um, Give me a holler. Leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. Tell me what you think of the videos. Tell me what we can do to improve. And uh, we hope to see you on the flip side, guys. Have a good one.